Hi guys, Trinae here with Miss Smiling All Day. Trinae, thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing a little review about Design Essentials, specifically their Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. The Almond and Avocado Moisturizing and Detangling Sulfate Free Shampoo. And also the Coconut and Manoy Curl Defining Gel. Now first off guys, I love Design Essentials. This is my go-to um, every wash day. Um, so it's kind of, I'm going to be unbiased as, I, as unbiased as I can, <laughs> but I, I really love their products. Um, specifically, these are what I use every every wash day along with a deep conditioner by Co Coils by Nature, which next week I'll be reviewing that particular um, deep conditioner. But for now, let's get right into it. So I've been using these products for about three years now, so I'm just going to kind of tell you um, how it's worked for me the past few years and basically what I've noticed about them. Now the Design Essentials line, you can get it at Sally's Beauty Supply Store, um, various other uh, beauty supply stores. You can get it at walmart.com. And specifically for me, I get it off of amazon.com because I'm a Prime member, so I get free shipping. Now the price for these on Amazon, I do the subscribe and save option. And so the shampoo for me is $5.99. The curl defining gel is $7.31. And then for the leave-in conditioner, I don't really do subscribe and save on that one because I don't need as much of it. So that particular price is $5.99. First off, the pros for the shampoo. Um, so the shampoo, it's called Almond and Avocado Moisturizing and Detangling Sulfate Free Shampoo. Um, with sweet almond and avocado oils. This is the Design Essentials Natural line, and it says it saves up to 30 minutes of detangling time. This is eight fluid ounces, and also it is, yeah, it's sulfate-free shampoo, sulfate-free. It has no parabens, no paraffin, no petrolatum, no mineral oil. What I love about this particular shampoo is it's really soft in the hair. You can feel it start to detangling the hair. Then a little bit goes a long way. So a quarter size should do it. You're good with a quarter size amount on that. I use that about twice on my hair and then I rinse that out. I go ahead and put in my leave-in, excuse me, I go ahead and put in my deep conditioner from Coils by Nature and I leave that on my hair while I uh, wash up. Um, and then after I've washed up, it's been probably like 15 minutes. And so then I rinse that deep conditioner out after I detangle my hair with it. And then I put in the leave-in conditioner, get out of the shower, go ahead and put in my uh, curl defining gel and use that for styling my hair. If you wanna see that video, check out this link right here and uh, you'll be able to see really what my my wash day routine actually looks like. As far as cons, I don't have really any cons for their shampoo. So let's go ahead and get into the pros of their leave-in conditioner. So first off, their uh, detangling leave-in conditioner also says it saves up to 30 minutes of detangling time, but by the time I have used the leave-in conditioner, I've already detangled my hair um it's also no silicones no parabens no petrolatum um and it says it has jojoba oil which is pretty cool and chamomile as well now i did notice that when i didn't use the leave-in conditioner it was a little bit more difficult to style my hair but it was a very mild um difference but it was enough for me to decide to um, use the leave-in conditioner whenever I style my hair. So it wasn't a big difference, but there was there was a little bit of a difference there. Um, also with the leave-in conditioner, I don't have any cons. Um, I really like their leave-in conditioner. I don't do wash day without it, basically. Now for the curl defining gel. Um, so with the curl defining gel, it's Design Essentials Natural still and it's Coconut and Manoy Curl Defining Gel, Moisturizing Curl Enhancer for lush, frizz-free curls for dull, dry, thirsty hair. 
and it says it has sunflower, marshmallow root, and olive as well. Also, there's no parabens, no petrolatum, no gluten, no phylates, no DEA, no TEA, and no alcohol. I really like the Coconut and Manoy um, Curl Defining Gel because it has really good slip and it's really moisturizing for my hair. I can use it as a standalone, which I love it. I don't have to put um, a cream and then a gel. Um, this works perfectly. After I put it in my hair, it lasts for about three to four days. Um, about day four, you know, you can't really, it, it, it's not as uh, defined, but the first couple days are awesome with this product. Before I cut my hair, I'd give it three days um, at the most um, using this product. So with longer hair, it might not be as defined. Even quicker, you might notice that it's not as defined. But with my hair shorter now, I see it three to four days, um, four days max. Like I said, it's not as defined on day four, but I still got some noticeable curls, which is pretty cool. I like that. Let me show you guys the texture of it. So. It really does have a um, a good gel texture. Let me see. See? Really kind of thick gel. And it smells so good. It smells like a mixture between coconut and marshmallow. So it kind of makes you want to eat it. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, it has a really good smell. And people are always saying, you know, your hair smells so good. But it's not overwhelming. I like that about it. Also, I noticed that I don't really have flaking with this product. I, even though I wash my hair once a week, I don't end up having um, any residue, any flaking, which is awesome. I think one time I did decide after maybe like, maybe like three days, this was, this was a while back when my hair was longer, um, but I did do a LCO method on my hair after three days um, and it was a different product. I can't remember what product I was using with it, but that time I did have buildup. I think it was because of that product because I've also done the LCO method with the Design Essentials products and I, I didn't have any buildup at that time either. Now for the cons. I do have one con but it is more recent. Like I said, I've been using these products for about three years now, but the past few weeks, I've noticed that um, after styling my hair, my, my scalp has been itchy, um, but I don't know for sure if it's the product. Like I said, I've been using this for a long time and I haven't had that problem before, but I also know that I have allergies anyway so it could just be um, some kind of breakout that I'm going through, or it could be the product. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna stop using the curl defining gel because that's where I'm thinking the problem could be, um, and see what happens. If I still have the itch, I know I need to take care of some allergies, but if not, I know that it's my favorite product and then I have to choose whether or not to stop. <laughs> but. I'm, I'm hoping it's allergies that I've been breaking out anyway, so um, that would be the only concern that I have. And like I said, that's been in the past three weeks, past month. So it, it, it possibly isn't the product, but I'm going to update you guys on that. Um, so you'll know also. So guys, let me know in the comments if you have tried any of the Design Essentials products that I talked about today and tell me which ones you like the most or tell me um, what you noticed when you used it. I really think it's good to know from you guys. Um, together we can kind of have a better idea of how these products work in our hair. It's kind of like teamwork. Um, a little community will be able to kind of get more information from each other and see what works best for us. I know everybody's hair is different, but at least we can kind of um, see how they affect us, how we like them for our curls. Go ahead and let drop it in the comments and let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And in next week's video, we're gonna go ahead and review that Coils by Nature deep conditioner that I told you guys about earlier that I also love. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel right here. 
so that you can be notified when that next video goes live. Also follow me on Instagram at Miss Smiling All Day Trine. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.